Okay, bad moon arising. You're going to need a D, an A, and a G. Okay, I do my G like that. It's not actually a G, it's a G5. I'm just muting out the fifth string. I just find coming from the A to the um, that G just you know makes it a bit easier for me. Okay, so when you start, you start on the D and you do a down, down, up, down, up. So let's have a look at that. So down, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up. So when I do that first down, I, I sort of pause a little bit. Down, down, up, down, up. And I go to the A for a down, down, up. Go to the G for a down, down, up. And go back to the D for a down, 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 up, down, up. And I do that twice. So it's stuck from the beginning again. Now when I go again, I just find it, um, it sounds a bit better if after the, I do that first strike on the D, you know, once I'm starting the next cycle, I mute out the strings down the strumming end. And it sort of emphasizes the start of the, of the new cycle, I guess. Okay, so let's, I'll just go through, I'll start from the beginning and then we'll get to that part. So I muted it, and then went again, then up, down, up. Okay, so that was just finished the, um, the two bars of the D, which was the down, 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 up, down, up. And from there, we'll go to the G. Okay, for two lots of down, 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 up, down, up. Go to the D for two lots of that. Go to the A for one lot. That's, so that's just down, 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 up, down, up. The G for the same, down, 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 up, down, up. And back to the D for two. So, okay, so we were, we were on the G. So down, 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 up. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics of the song. Um, you might want to check out some of my earlier videos on uh, forming chords, you know, with wider fingers. Um, if you have wider fingers, you know, it just makes it a bit easier sometimes. I mean, that transition there from the A to the G, that's really, um, yeah, quite an easy way of doing it. You don't particularly need wide fingers to do that one though, but, uh, but um, have a look, see what you think, it might all help. Okay, thanks for watching.